So, you want to make a cool color splash kind of background? Well, go ahead and, and drive to Lowe's, grab a couple paint cans, and we'll be on our way. Hey guys, remember that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make uh, like a color splash looking thing. So it's like a color swirl, color splash, whatever you want to call it. It's just like a nice abstract kind of thing, and we're in GIMP today, by the way. Um, so... First thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple colors that I want to use. Um, but I'm going to use a background color first off. So I'm going to choose maybe something very light and easy to look at. So like a nice blue as the base. I'll go ahead and hit bucket fill and just bucket fill the background there. Hit this little button down here and add a new layer um, right there. You love to see it. And this, this color will be a different color than the blue. So I'll make it like a yellow. That looks good, right? And then we'll just go ahead and just uh, use the hard, hardest brush we have, which is this one right here. We'll just up the size a little tiny bit. And we'll just create like a couple of circles around here. Maybe like three. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit bigger for that one right there. Um, a little bit bigger. All right, cool. Now, what I want to do is I'll go ahead and use this tool right here, which is the Warp Transform tool. We'll click this. And you can see if I were to move this around, you can see I can actually swivel this, which looks really, really cool, right? So let me undo that real quick. Um, and let's change the size up, and we'll change the strength all the way up to 100, make sure that's 100. Um, and we can just go ahead and kind of swirl this thing around, you know what I mean? So we can just swirl it, and I'll just kind of mix it in like that, right? So that looks really cool. I don't want to do it too much, because I don't want them to be too thin. But as you can see, that looks really, really cool. And I want to get all the way out to the edges as well. So, there we go. Really, really cool. I absolutely love that. Hit enter on that. And now that is confirmed it looks uh really cool as you can see we can zoom in here i have that nice little like color warp kind of thing going on uh and go ahead and hit add new layer once again and we'll add a different color this time so i'm gonna do something different different than yellow so we'll do like a uh pinkish red but like a red like that we'll add the same thing we'll add, but we'll add it in some places where it looks a little thin so up here around here you know what i mean so just get the basic idea and we'll uh go ahead and swirl this one as well so we can just swirl that around Nothing too crazy with this, you know what I mean? Very thin over there. Might as well not even exist over there. Um, but yeah, so just get into some nice little swirl areas. I don't want anything to be like um, messed up or like whatever. There we go. You love to see it. Perfection. Cool. Nice. So we're going to enter on that. And because I think this is like overtaking the, um, uh, the yellow, which I really just like the yellow by itself, I might actually go ahead and overlay this. And then just change the color. Um, so we'll change go to saturation and just see desaturate it fully, right? And then we'll just turn the uh, opacity down and drop it beneath the yellow there. So now the background looks like it has a little bit in there. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. I think I like the 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 just the yellow, but you guys get the basic idea uh, essentially. I can go ahead and actually make it full white like that. Very lightly in the background. Nah, I like just the just the one layer actually. That looks really cool. Um, but yeah, so really cool technique for this color swirl kind of thing. You can use this as abstract backgrounds. You can use this as whatever else. Uh, it's really, 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 really simple to do. And uh, it, like, it, it, it looks really cool. I really enjoy it. It's very simple. Very simple technique. But I really enjoy it. I want to share it because um, I do this quite often for some of my tutorial backgrounds and for some other things here and there. And I really wanted to kind of shed some light on, uh, on how I did that. So that is basically that. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. You can uh, do quite a lot of things. Like I said, you can go ahead and, and stack those layers, do more with it. Uh, you can uh, make separate colors. What I also want to do real quick is we'll actually go ahead and create uh, a couple. Oops, we'll create a couple of dots here. And I'll just do like this, right? I'll do something like that. Just something like that, right? And I want to actually make a gradient. So we'll use the gradient tool. Select this. And we'll go to, I think there's a rainbow somewhere. Full saturation, right? And then we'll add a new layer. Hit OK. And then we can go ahead and click from the left to the bottom right. Oh, I'm on, I'm on radial. Make sure it's on linear. There we go. And then from top left to bottom right. There we go. Enter. And then hit uh, sh uh, uh, shading and well uh, mode, sorry, and then go to screen, and then we'll uh, right click, merge that down, and then we have like kind of multiple colors, so I don't have to worry about adding different colors. It's like a nice little gradient, um, and then we can go ahead and then just mix these all together. And as you can see, we have a nice swirl of colors. You can make the gradient bigger or smaller, um, but obviously, you can see you could do a lot of different things with this um, if you were to go ahead and use the gradient tool. Uh, da, da, da. 
and do something like like on this half we do that right and then we add another layer and on that half we do this and then we go ahead and kind of just get rid of this on a soft brush get rid of this edge so that now we kind of have two pieces you'll love to see it there you go we can merge these two down and then we can go to screen and then right click merge and as you can see we can swirl these together just the same way we did the other ones but now there should be a little bit more blue and pinkish in there which looks really really cool so yeah like i said there's a lot of different things you can do with this hit enter make sure you hit enter or else it will uh not it will not uh take your your it will not save your warping uh you can also switch off a different tool there you go that is that ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye